Max Gerson, and I'm going to take you through my 2022 EX350 Gas Gas Enduro Cross Race Bike. Starting with handlebar setup, I like things super, super simple. Um, I run my levers not straight out, but down just a little bit so I can keep, stay comfortable. I run a fairly low bar band, and then I run my perches really far in on the handlebar so I can get my hands set up on the grips the right way so I can keep my elbows out. I also have my fan on a switch, and then I have a map switch for my ECU for different elevations. And I also have a backup starter button up under here. Pretty standard setup up front. There's a little bit heavier duty or wheel. The SXS fork sliders, these are nice because they slide across rocks instead of hit and stick. Pull shot device, of course, a cheer biz, red plastics all around. Dirt tricks, rotors, been stoked with those. I'm running stock triple clamps and suspension set up by Johnny at the ride shop. A lot of just little setup stuff. We have the aluminum thing so that it doesn't break off in the tank. I actually take the shifter tip off my shifter just for less things to worry about. I stay in second around the whole track, so I don't want to have to worry about shifting or clipping that thing on accident. Gearing, I'm running a 12. 53, gear this thing way down, make it a tractor so I can come out of those corners and just ball, pick up out of nothing. The steel S3 punk foot pegs, a cheer biz frame guards with a little added grip. And then I remove an engine mount bolt to open this up to allow for a little more flex. For this race, I'm running the Metis 140 TerraForce FIM spec, double green, super sticky tire. I don't know why, I just like that tire. Dirt Tricks rotor once again. Bulletproof shark fin. FMF exhaust with the Mega Bomb header. That helps a lot with low end on these things. I run the shorter brake pedal tip so it's a little easier to get to my rear brake. Um, I have an extended reservoir on there. Not really needed for enduro cross, but still nice to have. Uh, I got a fan, of course. The recluse clutch. I got the torque drive in there for maximum hookup, which is nice. So I got the seat concept seat with the gripper on it. And then we put a little bump in there just to keep things forward for when you're coming out of a corner and getting on the gas on this fast 350.